And welcome everyone to a March Madness postgame chat. I'm Andy Katz. Please be joined by Villanova's Jermaine Samuels. After a 76-74 victory over Seton Hall, Jermaine had 20 points in this win, which was the first game Villanova has played since December 23rd. Multiple pauses between then and now. Uh, Jermaine, how would you assess the way this team played after such a long layoff? Uh, I thought we played hungry. Um, I thought we were, our mindset was all about just trying to play Villanova basketball and uh, staying concentrated on that. What was your biggest concern for not playing a game for so long? Um, probably um, our, our habits as a, as a team. When you're off for so long, those habits and practice that you build every day, um, they kind of wear off little by little, but we stayed attention to detail. We knew what we had to do and we, uh, we adjusted on the fly. What about conditioning? Um, we did our best uh, with the time given uh, to stay as conditioned as possible. And I think a lot of guys were in, in great condition. So uh, essentially, you guys are still the team to beat in the Big East. You've been ranked this whole time. I'm just curious, and I asked Jay Wright this uh, for our podcast. Um, what was it like as you're watching Gonzaga and Baylor and Michigan and Iowa and these other teams that are within your grouping uh, as you're watching them you know, play, win, and still seeing Villanova up there, but you guys couldn't do anything. Um, it, it is kind of weird because everybody's playing and, you know, we're not. But at the same time, it gives us time to, to watch other types of basketball and, and learn what other teams are doing, how they're winning, and also what other teams are on the come up. So it's all about for, for uh, us and, and me personally just paying attention. You know, there's a lot of great teams and great guys out there that are, that are playing right now. And so beating Seton Hall in the manner in which you did, holding on, um, what did this tell you about – where this team is at and, and really where it can go. Uh, all that showed us is that, you know, we can get a lot better and um, we got to continue to focus on little things um, in practice and, and within our details. And we, we got to just keep concentrating on being the, the best Villanova basketball team by the end of the year. And lastly, Jermaine, uh, Coach Wright told me that when you guys had to go back into the quarantine, um, you know, overall as a team where you guys couldn't play that, you know, he went to you guys and said, look, whatever you guys want to do here, because I mean, it, it obviously could be mentally taxing. It's frustrating. It's incredibly disappointing, but clearly you guys made the decision. You wanted to come back. You wanted to play. You wanted to compete for a national championship. What drove you guys to make that decision despite having these multiple setbacks over the last three to four weeks? Uh, each other and, you know, having the ability to put that V on our chest again. Um, we've been through so much and this program means a lot to us. And it's all about just, going out there and having the opportunity to play Villanova basketball again. Jermaine, I appreciate it. Great to see Villanova back on the court. Stay safe. Appreciate you. You too.